Everyone. Most of you are already there in the chat. Open your attendance. Appreciate your clarity. As I said, Okay. And now, as you told hey, the last class, as you asked in the last class, we may discuss about certain elements or we are going to recap certain things what you have already studied using the slides and the uh, point okay uh, so as i so as i told the last class itself i'm using my mobile phone and it in an right mode that is uh, you cannot contact me over call and, and this is if you have any problem with youtube streaming i have given my alternate number in the whatsapp group how you can call me if there is any problem with the streaming so that there should not be any discontinuation with the we are going to discuss in class okay uh, fine. Let me start the class now. Okay, we are going to have this now. Okay, um, here is this where we are going to start. Okay, so this is the place you are also you are talking about the finding drawing the face and diagrams. You asked me about drawing the face and diagrams, uh, obtaining the perfect, perfect triangle calculations. Okay, calculating the. So these are the cal these are the things you asked me. So I want to. to Okay. Okay, here you see that there is a sinusoidal waveform. You see that it starts at zero, it ends at uh, it becomes it reaches zero at again zero at pi and reaches the negative maximum and then it reaches by two pi. This is a one cycle you call it. This is omega t terms, otherwise it can be represented in a time scale also. Zero to this is the time taken for one cycle is t. And the time taken for to complete one half cycle is equal to t by two. Okay, consider a sinusoidal wave. This is v of t. V of t is represented by vm sine omega t. Uh, vm represents the magnitude or the maximum value, and omega t represents the angular frequency in terms of radius. Okay, and we know that omega t is equal to two pi and two is equal to two pi by omega. So this is a basic structure of a sinusoidal wave, and this is the basic equation for. To represent the sine wave. Okay. Now the problem comes when you have two different sine waves which starts at two different phase angles. So you take this sine wave that is in bold line. So this takes a single sine wave which starts at zero and reaches maximum at pi by two and reaches zero at pi and reaches uh, negative maximum at 270 degrees and reaches the uh, zero again that it completes one cycle in 360 degrees to pi. This is okay. Now for this you can this is call it as v1, which for which v1 of t can be vm sine omega t. So this we have already studied in the previous slide. Okay. Now coming to the next uh, waveform which is represented in a dotted line. This is represented in a dotted line. Okay. You see that this dotted line v2, this wave dotted waveform v2 starts at an angle of five degrees. I heard of this one, I heard of this one. So that is why I can say that this V2 leads V1, this V2 leads V1 by an angle of phi. How can I represent it in an equation? V2 of t is can be written as Vm sine omega t plus phi. V2 of t can be written as Vm sine omega t plus phi, okay? Okay, this is what you have to keep it in your mind. Okay, now um, this principles, if this is all these mathematical calculations, you can do it now. Okay. So based on that, we have derived many concepts that is form factors and all. So now how to represent this? You can you have these two waveforms here. There are A and B. So we can say from this from this uh, sketch, we can see that A leaves B by an angle of 90 degrees. So because B starts at 90 degrees, I have when A is maximum. So A leaves by an angle of 90 degrees or B lags begin a by an angle of 90 degrees both are same both are same so we have to represent it in two forms one way is to draw a sine wave like this so this type of drawing is always a very uh, tedious one and you cannot you, you may not feel very much comfortable with that so how i am going to represent this now let me explain the same uh, diagram not in a, in a different form in my using a board you can do that you can you can watch it okay 
Okay, now you can look at my board. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now you can look at my board. And look at my board. So bad, you have two waveforms represented here like this. So as we told here in this previous slides, there are two waveforms. Have two waveforms now. The first waveform starts at zero, which is the maximum and minimum, which is zero and five. And which is zero here. And here there is another waveform which starts zero at zero and reaches maximum. These are the two different. These are the two different waveforms. These are the two different waveforms. Okay. Now, so you can we can we are going to draw this represent this face the diagram. So since it starts, that is a black waveform starts at starts at zero. I can represent it. Reference and take it as a reference which points were okay. And here there is another waveform B2 which starts at an angle of 90 degrees. So there is an angle of 90 degree phase. Okay, 90 degree phase. Now coming to this, how I am going to represent. If this is lying, I'm going to draw a downward move. Going to try a downward arrow. And this is represented by B. And this angle we call it as and this angle we call it as 90. This the face and representation of this two. Okay, this is the face and representation. Okay. That is even please. B2 by an angle of 90 is a B2 max B2. Okay, now uh, we can see that that is another waveform. Okay, we can draw here. We can draw this. Now I'm drawing another waveform. So we have to pass an angle of 90. So you can see here this. This is negative maximum at this point, and you can go and we will name this as B2. But whatever this case, here you can see that this is, name this as B3. Okay, name this as B3. Whatever this case, the case here, whatever the case here, you can see that B3 that is B3 leaves B1 by an angle of 90 or B3 leaves B2 by an angle of 90 plus 90 is 1. How I can represent B3? Yes, draw this. Okay, because B3 leaves by an angle. This represents it leaves. Okay. This is how we can represent two or three waveforms. You can represent two or three waveforms in a phasor diagram. A phasor diagram. Okay? Okay, it is very, very simple. The phasor represents. Now, now if you want to add the two, if you want to add the two waveforms, now you see that here is my here is my V1 and here is my V3. V3. This is going to be that some of the two 
So we know that. So in a in a in a in a our IR circuit, the voltage and the current I I are in phase. Are in voltage and the current are in phase. So that means means if I draw a phase a diagram like this. The voltage starts at zero, which is maximum at pi by two, zero at pi, magnitude maximum at two pi by two, okay, and then reaches at zero at three sixty. Okay, so this is the case. Okay, um, you can note it down. So this is zero i by two i two and two. Okay. This is the case. The waveform may not look nice, but have to be um, try to and think it in a think and look it like a sign. Okay, now this is about the voltage. And this is my voltage curve. Okay. This is my voltage curve. Now, what about the current? Since the current is also in phase with the voltage, you can see that current also starts at this and reaches the maximum like this, and it is like so. That is voltage and current are in phase. How do you represent this in a phasor phasor time? Okay, you can see that voltage is the at zero degree, and here. This is my the phase of representation of voltage in an IR circuit. Okay. Now, so let me replace this resistance with an inductor and we'll observe what are the changes. So, so here when you say that, so for example, in a resistor circuit, when you say that uh, V of T is equal to Vm sine. 
omega t means i of t can be represented i m and omega t but i m is t m by i m is equal to m by r okay now coming to the next case but i'm going to replace this then then you know okay i'm going to replace this with Let me show the okay. Hmm? We know that in this case V is equal to L into V I by D T into D I by D T. That means integer opposes any into any immediate chain in that parallel. Yeah? So this we study here. So here you see that here this is the voltage. This is the voltage waveform B, and mean that means the current. If it is a pure inductor, current lacks n and zero. The current starts at twenty degrees, which is the waveform waveform of the current. The form of the current that means this angle is at phi is equal to 90 degrees. Phi is equal to 90 degrees. This is what you have to do. So, how do you represent the voltage and the current now? So, V can be in a phase of diagram. This is V, and this is my so that is that is a phase difference of 90 degrees. So, I can write the equation that V of P. Sine omega t plus 90 degrees and I of t can be represented. I am sine, sorry, 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 that is omega t, okay. Sine omega t, omega t, like this is sine omega t, omega t plus 90 degrees, sorry for minus 90 degrees, okay. Just here that, you see that I. Max behind behind D by ninety D. Okay, so the angular distance this you can write as plus zero D. Yeah, angular difference, the angular difference. Between P and I is is taken as power factor angle. Power factor angle. So here you see that phi is equal to 90 degrees. And if you say that cosine of phi, we call it as the power factor. If for a pure inductor, the power factor is always equal to zero. Okay, you know the cos phi is zero. Power factor is always going to be equal to so that's all. Okay. Now, okay, now I want you to replace this circuit. I want you to replace this circuit with a small resistance here. I'm adding a resistance. Okay. I'm adding a resistance. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, let me give you a choice. Face a diagram how it will look, going to be look like. This is V, right? V in case one. V. This is I. Case two. C. V. And this is I. Case two. And D. V. This is I. Case three and E. This is V and this is I. 
what would be the answer? Okay? I want you to write the answer in live chat. I want you to write the answer in the live chat. A, B, C, D, or E. So now we have one any preference. And you have to write, you are looking into the five choices. So you have to find out. So we see that means we are seeing how the phase diagram is represented when the circuit has few resistance. And we know that how the phase diagram is represented when the circuit has few inductance, and now we have it's a combination of resistance and inductance. So we have A, B, C, D, and E combinations. I want you to write only the choice. Which choice is correct? A or B or C or D or E in the live chat, which will be considered for, for taking attendance for your class. Okay, now you can start giving it now onwards. Okay. Okay, now most of you are able to give the right answer as D. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, okay, most of you are able to give the right answer as D. This is very good. Okay, now. So, this is the answer. Okay. So, we see here that V of T can be written as Vm sin omega t and I of t can be written as Vm sorry, I am sin omega t plus phi and phi is not equal to 90 degrees k and so the phase of representation V and this is your this makes i the i. This is your i. The value of phi increases if the circuit is more of inductance. Okay. So the circuit is dominated by the inductance when your phi is going like this. This tries to be your like. Okay. And equal when the phi decreases if the circuit is more resistant. Okay, more resistant. If the circuit becomes more resistance, then the phi angle, the current is going to. Okay, so the value of phi is not necessarily zero or not necessarily ninety degrees. It may be somewhere between. It may be somewhere between zero. Okay, it may be somewhere between. Between, okay, between 0 and 90. Okay. okay, so this is the case. Now, let me replace this with a capacitor. We can replace this with a capacitor. Okay. So what would be the answer? This is one of the answer. One of the answer. A. B. P of T is equal to I. P of T 
is equal to Vm sin omega t plus pi v of t is equal to Vm sin omega t v of t is equal to Vm sin omega t minus pi v of t is equal to Vm sin plus pi. So which equation represents P of t and I of t for this? Now this is the reflection time. Take a minute. Take a minute and look into the four choices and tell me which one is correct. There are more than one answer. There may be more than one answer, one correct answer here. There may be more than one correct answer here. Okay. If you have there are more than one, you have to represent more than one. Okay. One quick, you have to represent it in our case now. So Kalida Sivaraj is good and then Rahul has did an excellent job. He has did it. Out of uh, some of you have shared the answer, I find that uh, Rahul was able to give the correct answer. Rahul is the only boy, only boy or only student in the class. He gives, gave the correct and exact answer. Others are partially correct. Okay. Others are partially correct. Hmm? No problem. Okay, let, let me see this. Okay, this is, I would say this is A and C are correct. Okay, so here what does it mean? A current lags behind the voltage and voltage. Take a look of This is minus. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the uh, current leaves the voltage by an angle of 5. Our voltage lags behind the uh, current by an angle of 5. This current voltage lags behind the current by an angle of 5. Okay, so this carry is represented in a phase diagram like this. Okay. And here we see that the current, I, there is an angle of 90 degrees for a few capacitors. Capacitor. Now for this case, for this case, this is going to be the answer. This is going to be the answer. Okay. So this is the answer. This is the V of okay. This is the V of That is the current leads by pi or voltage lags by an angle of pi. That is the answer. So what about this? So, the, so we can say that cos phi the power factor. Okay, now so I want you to go back to the another concept of what you call the reactance. The reactance, resistance, reactance, and input. Resistance, reactance, and input. Okay. So we know what is resistance. Since we know that, we know what are the reactants, XL and XL. We study, study the area and we study that Z is equal to R plus J X. R plus J X. So this we know that. Yeah. And we know that Z is equal to root of R square plus X. R plus square plus X. And I say that there is a resistance, there is a circuit with an inductance. This I can say that Z here is equal to R plus J is equal to R plus J mega J is omic term. And I have a circuit 
applied by ASO, the resistor, and a capacitor. Then I can say that Z is equal to R plus AXC is equal to R plus 1, 1 by AXC. R plus 1 by JXC or minus J by XC take by omega in terms of form. So this is impedance. Okay. Now we have a circuit like this. This is a combination of all of the combination. Or LMC. So here you can see that Z is equal to R plus J plus J plus J. This is the total input of the circuit. This is the total input. Okay. So, so we know this. So we know that that is equal to okay. Now we come to this. This n k term, or that is represented as a z. This n k term is represented here like a z. So you can see that Z is equal to R plus R plus J. So this is represented phase in a phase diagram like R. This is X. And this is your this angle we call it as phi. So we see that cos phi can be a represent adjacent side by type modules, right? This represents the cos so, half factor angle will be from now on from the impedance triangle you can draw it. Okay, otherwise, hello, hello, much of the Yeah, we'll come back.
Okay. Okay, now I think it's visible now. Okay, now I see that this is visible. What is visible for you? So now you see here, so here is a diagram which is, which is has all L and C. So when you say that all L and C, this is taken as a single impedance. You can take it as a single impedance of Z. Z, when Z is represented as R plus the X. And here there is a diagram that is or z and x is yes, here. Okay, so from which you can see that z is equal to root of r square plus plus x. So that. And then cos y is equal to r by z equal to cos. This perfect triangle, you can see that is the difference in angle between 1, 5, 1 and 5, 2. That 5, 1 represents 5, 1 and 5, 2 are importing in 5, 1 represents the current phase and represent the voltage phase. The difference in the angle between voltage and current are known. Otherwise, you can use this and solve it. You can use the, um, this impedance triangle and so on. Use the impedance triangle and so on. Okay? Okay, now okay, this is over. Okay? So with this concepts in mind, this, so we will put some one or two problems on and we will close it and we will continue that remaining in the next Continue the remaining in the next class. Okay, now so okay, the board is actually moving. It's a uh, vibrations. Hmm? is a little bit moving okay no problem now you take this problem for now and you take this problem this problem that is 9.2 Okay, this problem that is 9.2. So here see, see that on the phase angles, phase angle between V1 and V2, another country state which sinusoidal is leading ketogram. V1 is minus 10 cos omega t plus 50 degree and V2 is uh, 12 sin omega t minus 10 degrees photogram. So, so there are three few three methods here. Now we see one method here, other methods you can study this of your own. Okay. So this given as v1 is equal to minus 10. Yeah? So minus 10 on the replace point again up and it goes omega t minus 180 degree. So minus 180 degree. This is the trigonometry function such as you can see. So cos omega t minus 180 is equal to minus cos omega t. So the same principle is applied. The same principle is applied and it, and it is used to solve the problem here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the case, okay, omega t minus. Now, uh, what is this tense on cos omega t minus 130? Or this can be represented as 10 cos omega t plus 230 degrees. I mean, uh, minus 130 plus 230, it is equal to 360 degrees. Yeah, it is equal to 360 degrees. So, when okay, minus negative side and 10 one 130 degrees, for the positive side. For example, you take this as the minus. And this is your V1. And this is your V1. This angle is 130 degrees. Minus 1. This is plus 230. And what you got it done. Okay. So you can see the uh, board now. You can see how I have drawn it in the board. I drawn the same thing in the board. So this is.
So you have seen it in the board. That is how it is used today. Yeah. Mm. So this represents minus 130 and that represents 230 degrees. So this is the this is the reference. This is the reference. This is your B. The reference. The reference. Okay. Reference you have taken. Okay. Reference line. Okay. Now coming to the case. Now coming to this case. Now look at this uh, problem again. So here uh, B2 is now replaced is equal to sin omega 12 plus sin omega t minus 10 degrees. Here. Yeah. But this is in cos and this is in sine. Either you have to convert both into sine or you have to convert both into cos. So to convert this sine into cos, what I am doing? 12 cos omega t minus 10 minus 9 degrees. Again, the same trigonometrical principles what I have studied earlier. So this is the case. Cos only convert. Any point you compare? Cos omega t plus 9 degrees equal to minus sine omega t. Or cos omega t. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Minus is equal to this. Yeah. This is the case. So using this equation, we are converting cos into sine. We are converting the cos into sine. Similarly, uh, sine into cos. Sine into cos or cos into sine. So these two equations are applied. Okay. Yeah. So these two equations are applied. Now coming to the next case. What I am doing here? So this is minus 10 minus 90 degrees is equal to cos omega t minus 100 minus 100. Okay. Now this is my B2. So this is my B2 here. What is this? My B2. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, it's all about setting the board for camera. As I feel it to be difficult to operate the board and operate the system, and I find it difficult to operate the system and class under the class. Okay. Finish the class in another 10 minutes. Please be patient. Okay, now this is now I got the board. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got the board. Okay. So let me draw this. Okay. This is the reference. This is the reference. And this represents this. and this represents V2. Hundred degrees. What is the phase angle difference between the two? One, one thirty. This difference hundred degrees. So the phase difference is equal to. The phase difference between V1 and V2 is 30 degrees is the answer. The answer. Okay. Okay. Now let's go back to this problem on page again. Hmm? Mm, so we put a problem.
Okay, you take this sum. Hmm? You take this sum now. So I'll draw this in board and then we'll go to the board again. Okay, solve it again in the board again. Okay, you, you copy this in a notebook also. Let me change it to code. Okay. Now, so this is the circuit. Okay. So we have a resistance and a capacitance connected in PC. The resistance and capacitance connected in series. So this Vs, this is Vs, this is R, 5 ohms, this is C, and this is equal to 0 0.1. And here Vs is given as Vs is equal to 10 cos 40. N cos 40 is the answer. Okay, is what is what is given in the problem. And you are asked to find out the voltage across the res resistance, inductor, the capacitor, and the current through the circuit. And since it is a series, this is the current I. Current I. The current I flows through, uh, I flows through the 5 ohm resistance and 0.1 F capacitance. Okay. Now the thing is, you have to find out the impedance. We know that Vs is given. Vs can be represented in n as there is no 5 here. Yeah, and angle 0 degree potential. Now, you can write is that is equal to or plus 1 by j x. Yeah, so this can be represented 1 by j x. We know that x is equal to is equal to plus 1 by x and degree. Omega is equal to 4 here. And 1. Substitute all the values here. Or substitute all the real values here. You find Z is equal to minus J2. Z is equal to 5 minus J2.5 ohms is what I get in. Z is equal to 5 minus J2.5 ohms is what I get in. Okay. The impedance of this. And now you can say that I is D e by Z. Yeah. So this is equal to 10 before that. Now we keep now we got the answer as z is equal to z is equal to 5 plus j and 5 ohm. So this is a complex number which is which is represented in rectangular form or in a in a rectangular form. Okay. Okay now we have to convert this into polar form. So we have to convert it into polar form. That is amplitude, and this you can do it using a using a calculator. So you can convert a rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular form using a calculator. In the calculators, you can convert this into is it is equal to is it is equal to represented by um, That on the side, this is the representation. Now to find the current I, I is equal to B by Z. This is represented by so 10 angle J degree, 0 degrees plus 5 plus J 2.5. That we represent as 10 plus 5 plus 2 J 2.5. Here 10 plus J 0 divided by 5. Plus J 2.5 I make I do J and 5 which gives you which gives you and current term substitute the current value of this is the current value of 1.1.6 1. 1. plus J 0. 0.8 point plus J 0. Point. So what we got now is so after calculations we have found that after calculations we found that 
the current is equal to 1.6 plus j 0 0.8. And I is equal to 1.0. We convert it into polar form, which gives 1.19. This is the current. So this is the current. So, so when you see that the current between the voltage and current, the OV is equal to and zero degrees. So the phase angle phi can one degree is that five is that means here yeah, the current leaves the voltage by an angle of 26.57. Okay, this is the power factor and the power factor. That is difference in and the angular difference of the voltage and current equal to the power. Then you substitute cos phi cos of the that represents the circuit. That represents the power factor of the circuit. Okay. Now here it is asked to find out the voltage, to find out the voltage across the capacitor. But they are asked to find out the voltage across the capacitor. Yeah. So how do you find the voltage across the capacitor? V I V this. How do you represent this? V is equal to I into E. I into is I we know that is it is equal to also we know that layer is it know that is it is equal to the C one by J substitute the values you'll get so you'll get the answers. What is this? 1.79 until 0.5 is into into yeah so no, sorry, divided by J A4 into 0.1. A4 into 0.1. This can be represented as 1.7 and divided by 0.4 and 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So, 90 degrees, which gives you an answer. 4, 7, and Minus six point four three minus six three point four. This is voltage across the capacitor. So what is the order about the voltage across the capacitor? Four point four. So it's minus six three point four. Okay. So what about the current? This is what is the phase difference between voltage and current? You can see that twenty six point five seven positive minus the total angle if you find. For the angular difference in any So, in a pure capacitor, the angular difference between phase is the phase angle between voltage and current is always 90. Okay. So, it is already 1130 plus. So, we'll stop here. We'll stop here now. And if you have any doubts, you can start posting in the things. So, we'll continue the same topic tomorrow. Okay. Um, so I don't want to I continue the class today now because, I al because I already we had a class for our nearly one hour. We will be tired. So, so we will continue this class tomorrow. Um, tomorrow as per the college slide, we don't have the time. So we will have it in the evening hours. Okay. As usual, we will have it in the evening hours. Okay. Um, now you can start. Uh, sharing your doubts in the chat box if you have anything any doubts i try to uh, uh, clarify it in next one or two minutes otherwise uh, i look into that and we'll continue and i try to clear the doubts in the next class okay now the chat box is open you can start in the meantime i don't know who called me in the in between now you have warned me about the condition of the board Okay.
so here you see that the impedance is represented in a complex term yeah impedance is in a complex term so always everywhere for solving the problem it is going to be a complex term ellame complex terms da irukum so the angle adu theriyudhu why are we using here avan kekkringa illaya adha sonna is that is that we namak nama rectangle nama triangle potta illaya is that nama potta illaya this is look into the board again for triangle potta kamchu illaya impedance impedance triangle one potta kamchu nya paruka impedance triangle potta and impedance triangle triangle eppadi nama represent pandrathu so we have to represent it only using so we have to represent it only using okay camera is working hmm? only using the complex terms in the clear the triangle impedance triangle for the number this is r we see that this is r this is x and this is this yeah is it is equal to r square plus x plus x y is the answer And z is equal to r plus j x. J x means that is x. Or that is an angular difference of 90 degrees between the two. Okay. Suppose if x is negative in nature, then this is the graph. If is x is capacitive in nature, this is r. This is x and this is x and this is. Okay. If it is going to be capacitive, then this is going. This is the power factor angle. This is power factor. The power factor angle, brother, I just told you, this is sine of the sine of the angle between the voltage and current. Okay, this is the sine of the and sir, cosine of the angle between the voltage and current. This is what we discussed. Okay, voltage between angle and current. Okay, you know. So that is if the voltage and current starts at the same time because of sort of the same. Same point and reaches maximum at the same point and reaches negative maximum at the same same point and completes a cycle at the same point. Then we need not bother. Then the power factor angle is going to is going is going to be zero and it is cos phi is going to be one. So what about the power calculation? P is equal to V A cos phi. Now we have to find V A cos phi. Cos phi P is equal becomes V I. P becomes V I. Clear? So this is one way so one impedance diagram vachu ninga vandu angle calculate pandreenga illaya second enna pandreenga voltage ninga enna pandreenga calculate pandreenga voltage impedance uh, current and everything in the complex terms la irukku and the complex terms and the rendu formula represent pannu one either you can represent it in a it in a uh, rectangular form that is a plus jb idu ninga complex number la padichirukinga illaya and other ways ana you can represent it in a polar form that is I is equal to I of t, or I is equal to small i is equal to I angle zero, I, I angle theta degrees, theta degrees in photo gong, I angle theta degrees. In the matter, two formula number represent panna la kida. So, so this is as I said, any complex numbers here can be represented in in two ways. In that plan, is that enough for me? We see here, is that is equal to R plus J X in form. This is rectangular form, and similarly, is that can be written as Is that or less angle some t five degrees? And this five represents your power factor angle. And similarly, you can represents v as a plus j mean for now. A plus as a rectangle as a ray point and imaginary point. Yeah, maybe or ray point imaginary point zero over there. And this can be represented as i p angle theta one degree. This is not five. This is theta one degrees in for. And similarly. I can be represented as C plus J D, and I can be represented in that kind of polar form like I angle theta two degrees. Here five can be represented as theta one difference theta two. What is theta one? Theta one is the angle of the voltage. What is theta two? Angle of the current. The difference between the voltage and angle of the voltage and is voltage and current. We call it as the phase difference, and the cosine of this angle gives you the power factor. The PF is Cos phi P F is equal to cos phi. Okay, ma? P F is equal to cos phi. That's all. Okay, now the last class now about the last problem we have that P is equal to 10 angle 0 degrees per. I is equal to 1.79 angle 26.57 degrees. Here theta 1 is equal to 0 degrees. 
theta 2 is equal to 26.57 degrees. So, phi is equal to theta 1 prevents theta 2, which gives you 26.57 degrees. Since i is equal to plus 26, we can say that i leaves the voltage. It is the voltage. It is minus and i the relax begin. Okay? So you got it? Now, okay, this is how we have to find out the, we have to find out this one. Hmm? Okay, now, any more doubts? Any more doubts here? Mm -hmm. There are some basic, hey, look, I'm not closing the blackboard and teachings and everything, like class board. Some basic fundamentals like uh, complex numbers, and the 1 by j is equal to minus j. You have to keep it in mind. Fundamental concepts are all in my class. Class is not in online. With much difficulties, we are, we are trying to create a class like environmental environment here. Okay? Some of the concepts you have to try it off your own. I will tell you, now we will try go to the book. Um, Alexander Sadiq book uh, complete you can uh, you can study go through it Adli Purilina you can come back we'll discuss okay uh, next class long I wanted to go to the impedance reduction and uh, Thevenin's not and sort of Murchilan Parker so that the chapter Murchilan at the topic now upon hmm? okay at present uh, so we had a uh, maximum on the party you know, 48 views concurrent viewers in the night but 28 viewers that thing yeah? so so I want to say uh, by as a closing attendance for this class now. We'll complete the class. Okay, getting some response from your side. Uh, thank you very much for your patient listening for the last one hour. Uh, so we have, will try to have an, another class tomorrow evening, either by 6 or 7 p.m. according to your availability. Either by 6 p.m. or by 7 p.m. according to your availability. Okay, cool. So attendance are Guru Sudha, Kalidas, Kali Kishore, uh, Daliban, Deban, Trisha, and Shanmuga Priyadashni, Famous, Gobi, Bhaskaran, Basan, Dinesh, Epi, Ashika. Okay. Okay, I got all, all, all of you. Thank you. So thank you for your patient listen, listening. Tomorrow, we meet tomorrow. Okay, bye.